occasion I'm a painter and this is one of my works. Uh, I'm not going to uh, try to kill you, trying to express philosophically what I'm doing, whatever. I'm, I just say a few words about these two works that I'm presenting here tonight. Uh, as you can see, this is a oil painting, and uh, it's actually a dedication, dedication to a person, to another person that I'm having a um, great love for. And she's an artist too, Buffy St. Marie. Some might be uh, familiar with. So famous uh, folk singer, Native American, and um, activist and stuff. So uh, I just say I want to make a picture uh, about uh, Buffy and so for Buffy. And uh, what crossed my mind first when I started thinking about it, it was a, a Star Walker. That, that's a, a, one of the titles of this work. And it's, a Star Walker is actually a Buffy's song. So I, I'm trying to, to make that song to, to, to turn me on and to start thinking how would I present uh, Buffy. Buffy is an, an American Indian, of course. Uh, I wanted to put uh, stress on, um, on her background, on her cultural background. So this, this is why I put this uh, uh, calendar, it's an it's Aztec calendar, it's, it, it's not modern uh, American Indians, but uh, I, I'm seeing it as uh, Native Americans uh, as one group of people, and I think that's uh, quite uh, appropriate to, uh, to be uh, put as her background. I had to study hard, you know, about all these details, because that's a completely different way of uh, expressing, you know, if you see a, all these images uh, in this disc, uh, they're highly stylized and you need to, to study how they do, how, how, what's this, is this a horse, is this a house, whatever. So it was a big, uh, big uh, pleasure for me to, to go and uh, study that before I even started. So uh, Star Walker, she's, uh, she's walking on the stars, you know, this is one of those stylized uh, stars and uh, of course uh, it always goes sun and moon, it's, uh, it's something that comes out in the tradition, including religion, and uh, and uh, to make a contrast with, the, with the, this uh, uh, pretty detailed, you know, realistic image of the of Buffy, I I went to do to make a, a background that will be the second background. This is a busy one, so I need something that would be uh, more uh, simple, uh, less uh, striking. So I I put as a contrast quite uh, abstract part of the background after because this is this is supposed to be the sky or, or the skies or eons you know because if you if you're riding a a, a, a heavenly uh, animal uh, on the trip over to the stars you know you need to have uh, eons that you'll go through so this is it you know uh, of course you can go and and uh, try to see other things but I think this is a, the basic thing that should introduce uh, starting to uh, uh, watch the, the, the painting. You know, you, you can see uh, she's having a bow, and it's a weapon, but she, she, she just uh, uses it the uh, uh, wrong, wrong way, you know, because uh, she does never use it as a weapon, she used it as an instrument and a mouth harp and in some of her songs, so I just want to put that. So that's kind of a little more focus, you know, story, and of course some things uh, behind it uh, you can uh, see or maybe just uh, try to see, yeah. The other one, it's over there, and it's, uh, it's called Baba Yaga. So I, I painted that painting uh, on the man in the Lourdes School uh, a few years ago. There was a, a big event, interesting event, uh, where we had a concert by uh, pictures from an exhibition of Mussorgsky, uh, Modus Mussorgsky, you might know. About him, so you know uh, they just uh, call six artists and say, okay, just uh, you do and paint uh, one of the movements, maybe two of the movements. And so Baba Yaga was uh, uh, one of those movements. Mm -hmm. I had to study that that, that uh, which uh, that I. It's a folklore thing, you know, from Russia. So something that I I was completely unaware. So I need to study, and I I did put some uh, interesting details. So go ahead, see it, and uh, if you have any question, uh, ask me. I, I will be ready to explain you in detail.